Okay, this show is called Behind the Vinyl, right? Let's see here, we're gonna play this record here. Get her all queued up. If I can see what I'm doing. Perfect. There it is. That's Mr. Mark Ramon playing those drums, in case you were wondering. This song, Let's Shake, one of our um, one of our more popular songs that we recorded. And uh, this particular version, when I hear the start of this, it takes me back to Maple Leaf Gardens, actually, no, the Air Canada Centre, which we were fortunate enough to have the Leafs pick this song as a goal song. In 2013, we went down to a game, me and my wife went to see the Leafs beat the LA Kings 5-3, to three, and every time the Leafs scored, they played this song through the PA system at the ACC, and man, did it ever sound great. It sounded so great. Um, I have some memories of the song being written. We were in, stuck in a little rehearsal hall somewhere getting songs prepared for our second album, which was Frantic City. And like a lot of songs, they start with riffs. The song started with a little riff that Gordy, our guitar player, was playing in practice. And he must have just done it. And, and I think maybe Frank looked at me or Nick looked at somebody and went, play that again, Gordy. And I say that because a lot of times guitar players don't know when they've got that riff. They don't know when they've got that little hook. And he was just like, oh, okay, I'll play it again. And I mean, it turned into this song and it's just, it was just um, one of those things. It's a simple song. It's not. It's not a difficult song to play if you're a guitar player. Um, originally, when we had recorded it, we had started it with the drum intro. We had a drum break in the middle too. So before it goes to the bridge, it was go down, 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 and then we had another drum break, which we thought we would be cool to have Nick continue that but for some reason he couldn't lock in when he lost when the band dropped out this is what they tell me anyways that his meter wasn't all there <laughs> and it's like well we kind of want that drum part in there that that's how we want it he's like well unfortunately it didn't sound too good and I'll never forget them when they cut the song in the, in the studio the old analog tapes were spinning and when it came time to the drum part, which was now NG, they cut the tape with a razor blade and Nick's drum part, the tape just fell on the floor. <laughs> and I just saw, watched this pile of tape piling up till it came to the part where the song came back in and they edited it back together. And now the drum part is now not there and there's no version of it anywhere except for that tape that's on the floor. <laughs> Um, difficult for drummers, the, there was no click tracks back then. A lot of days things are done with click tracks. The drummer has a click track in his headphones, so it's impossible for him really to go out of sync. But uh, back in 1980, it was difficult. It was difficult for drummers to keep, uh, to keep the time without that click. So there you go. That's a little tidbit from Let's Shake.